Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is official, I'm leaving New York. I'm gonna go into detail about why I'm leaving, but this week is going to be me moving out of this apartment and I am not moving into New York for a couple months. So it's gonna be a big transition. Let me tell you why I am leaving New York. I stayed in New York when it was the worst, when we had tons of cases and it was the epicenter of the coronavirus stayed during that I didn't even like leave my neighborhood I just kind of stuck it out but the real reason why I'm leaving is that my lease is up July 31st which is in seven days I've always moved for August 1st which if you knew anything about New York real estate moving in August is probably the worst month to move moving anytime in summer in New York is the worst month because a lot of students move into New York that month for school there are less apartments to choose from therefore they usually cost a bit more money so I've always been in this horrible August 1st move-in date which is so stressful finding an apartment in New York is hard enough on its own now add other students who want an apartment I'm not a student but you know there's a lot more people searching for apartments at that time it's also humid and disgusting outside it's just not comfortable but you're paying more money for something that you can get cheaper in winter. Out of all the years, this is probably the best year to just not move into a new apartment for August 1st. So I decided to leave New York for two months. Um, I'm going to spend time with my family in Wisconsin. I haven't seen them all year. My mom is actually going to come and help me pack up all my things. I've been living in this apartment for five years. So for me to move is like pretty, pretty big deal. And also in those five years, I have accumulated a lot of items. Excited for new beginnings. I'm excited to get a really cool apartment for a little less money. I'm always down to save some money on rent because New York rent is not cheap. I am not gonna miss these tiles though. No way. I'm not gonna miss you. Walking to Home Depot to get some boxes. boxes because I needed a lot more and it's much easier to take a cab than to walk with them because they actually are very heavy so <laughs> arrive back home and we have home to boxes everywhere and we're just starting to fill them up with some things all my winter stuff is easy to pack up, but this is a large box. We have like four of these, six of these, and then some small ones. So hopefully everything will fit. We don't have to go back to Home Depot or find boxes. did a lot of boxes today but we have still more items in the closet and I think it's time for some wine where is my wine I need some more what do you think that is sad Fix yeah that. Hor <laughs> pour it up my wine glass is broke so this is what I make do but it's still wine so we're good good morning everyone so today is moving day I have my coffee because I packed all my coffee things. The movers have a window of arrival from 8 a.m. until 11 a.m. So I'm kind of waiting until that call happens, but until that, I do have some packing to do, like my comforter and things, but so the movers just called me. They are on a different street, but they are coming right now. So at least it's not as humid as it was the other days. So this is what everything looks like. That's going into the storage unit. TV, I put some bubble wrap over it. This table, the bed, and mostly just boxes. This is clothes, kitchen, shoes, lots of shoes. And then we just have some artwork and smaller boxes over here. This shall be very, very interesting. It's only been 30 minutes, so like this is 
is the fastest moving I've ever witnessed. This is crazy. So it is over. The movers are gone. You can put a whole house in here. How big it is. Not that big. <laughs> and everything is moved in beautifully. Really easy check in process. Five by seven room. Just got the boxes up here. The bed. And I'm in this like super long hallway of other units. I'm done moving. Yay. It was under two hours which i cannot believe how fast it was and my stuff is in the storage unit and now we are in hell's kitchen hudson yards area my storage unit is very fancy to be in hudson yards but now we're gonna get lunch i have made it back home it is empty this is really surreal um wow i gotta take care of that corner but otherwise it is totally empty in here tonight i didn't want to get a hotel room especially during covid and it would just complicate things with all my luggages and stuff so tonight we're actually gonna stay here with no furniture so i have some extra blankets and pillows i realized that my floors are completely crooked so we're done moving and now i'm in brooklyn for a last dinner before i leave tomorrow and it's a new restaurant opening here in Williamsburg. I am back home from dinner. It was a Jamaican restaurant. I met the owner. Very nice. The food was really good. It kind of felt like you were like on a cruise or somewhere tropical. But I get to sleep on the floor. So I have a space for my mom. Remember this apartment in my last night like this? My last night in New York. Good morning. As you can see from my dripping sweat, I was just running up and down the steps with garbage and my dresser, my air conditioner, I'm literally glistening, but my apartment is completely empty. This is the final goodbye. I have to drop off the keys by the leasing office by three. That's in 10 minutes, so I have to run over there, but I'm saying goodbye to my apartment right now. Um, sleeping on the floor wasn't that bad, actually. I gave it a six and a half out of 10. This was the kitchen, very small. The hallway, the bathroom, ew. And this is what my room looks like, empty. Just my last little walkthrough. Lots of memories here, but a lot of new beginnings. So I'm off to the airport and this is all East Village. All right, all the bags, let's go. This shall be interesting. This is the new LGA terminal. It looks so good. You should have seen it before. It was not cute. There's like hardly anyone here, but look how nice this looks. I love the little mural that they have. They have little New York icon, Statue of Liberty, bagels, pizza, um, the Imagine sign. Very cool. I like this feature a lot.
Good morning, I have finally made it to Wisconsin and I am in my childhood bedroom which was really fun to kind of come back to. Um, thank you so much for watching. Definitely you'll be making more videos while I'm here in Wisconsin. I cannot wait to start apartment hunting in New York because there are so many good deals going on right now. Welcome to Wisconsin, bye.